Hello, and thank you for viewing my presentation on organizational control, the feedback control model on financial controls. This presentation is going to take a look at the purpose of control inside organizations. Next is a discussion on the feedback control model, and it will conclude with a discussion on budget and financial controls. The discussion on the feedback control model includes information over what it is and how it works, in addition to some of the different types of feedback. The budget and financial control discussion covers what they are, examples of each, and how they are used in the feedback control model. Organizational control is the attempt to regulate employee behaviors inside the business to achieve the goals of the business. Control structures or systems are the combination of all organization actions that are used in an attempt to control employee behaviors in order to reach the organizational goal. Control is an important feature of companies. Without it, employees would not be able to conduct business as desired by management and goals would not be met. Without having some form of control in place, employees would be free to do their duties as they saw fit. This would result in chaos in larger companies and organizations as there are so many employees, each one would have their own way of performing their job. And it would be really hard to coordinate actions between departments and even within the department if there wasn't a set method for them to follow. The feedback model is one method of control that organizations use, and it works by supplying feedback from implemented methods and changes. Feedback is information about something or someone that is used for improvement. Feedback can come in a variety of forms, including surveys, opinions, financial sheet statements, productivity measures, and more. Feedback can be either corrective or evaluative, and it can also be public or private. Corrective feedback has the goal of adjusting behaviors, and evaluative feedback is information on the excess of the operational system that is in place. Employee of the Month titles are examples of public feedback, and employee evaluations or internal audits are examples of private feedback. Feedback is used to help reach organizational goals that are in place. There are four general steps of feedback. The first step is establishing standards of performance. This is the company's goals and desires. The second step is to measure the actual performance. This is what's happening inside the company. The third step is to compare the performance to standards. They take a look at what their goals are and compare it to what is actually happening right now. And the last step is to take corrective action. If the company sees that they are not reaching their goals, then they can enact an action or make policy changes to attempt to reach their goals the next time that they go back and evaluate what they're doing. Even if the company sees that they are currently reaching their goals, they can continue to use the feedback model to evaluate themselves throughout different periods of time to make sure that these goals are still being met. Feedback can be either directional or motivational. Directional feedback instructs or directs behaviors of the employees, and it also provides information justifying why it should be done their way. Motivational feedback offers rewards for changing employee behaviors to meet the desired organizational goals. Some examples of feedback include the use of promotions and raises or end of the year surveys given to employees. Also, customer satisfaction can be a feedback method and this is seen in the form of sales and returns. Companies also exhibit control through budget and financial controls. The remainder of this presentation will discuss these controls and how they relate to the feedback control method. Budget control is the comparison of 
budget plans and expectations to actual expenses and incomes and using the comparison to either make changes to meet the plans or adjust the plans to meet projected incomes and expenses for the next budget quarter. Financial controls are the tools used to keep track of a business's financial status, including debts, cash flow, inventory costs, taxes, sales, losses, profits, and more. There are many examples of budget controls. DAF lists expense budgets, revenue budgets, cash budgets, capital budgets, and zero-base budgets as a few examples. Expense budgets include actual and predicted expenses the business may face. Revenue budgets include actual and predicted incomes of the business. Cash budgets predict the cash on hand for a short period of time. This is done to make sure the business has enough money to meet obligations during that time period. Capital budgets take into consideration major investments like buildings and equipment and the depreciation those items will encounter. Zero base budgets start at a zero balance and are built up. The, the budget increases as items are added to it and each item is justified before being placed in the budget. This helps eliminate wasteful spending. Financial controls includes balance sheets, income statements, and ratios. Balance sheets compare assets and liabilities at a given time. By looking at these statements, managers are able to see if the assets are greater or less than the liabilities of the company. Income statements keep track of the financial position or standing of the company. This shows managers if the company is bringing in more money than it is spending. Ratios are fractions or decimals that compare two aspects of company functions to determine performances. Activity ratios compare internal performances to organizational goals and processes, like sales and inventory levels. Profitability ratios show where the organization profits come from by comparing items like net income to total assets. Liquidity ratios show if the business can meet or exceed its current debts. They can be used together with cash budgets. Leverage ratios compare activities that companies borrow money on to perform or produce goods. If a company has to borrow more to make the item than the item is bringing in, this ratio shows it. Financial controls make it possible for businesses to try and follow their budgets as well as adjust their budgets for upcoming quarters. Budget and financial controls provide actual feedback to managers by reporting on and evaluating organizational operations and performances. By using these controls, managers are able to plan for future events in order to keep the organization operating successfully. Managers are also able to plan for future changes by watching for slow or slight changes in these control reports over different quarters. The feedback managers receive from the examples discussed in this presentation provide specifically tailored information for the company. This feedback can be considered priceless by business owners, and these examples of controls are basic operational functions. They are critical to companies so they can remain profitable and successful. Managers should not only show interest in using these methods to boost or organization success, and the culture within the company, but also should always be looking for ways to increase feedback. The more feedback they receive, the better they can draw a picture and adjust to internal and external environments. Again, thank you for watching my presentation.